Hi guys. Hang on, I'm gonna click off the other guys. Okay, I guys, how you doing? Down here. Huh? What? We're live. <gasps> Welcome here we to go. Crazy Town, guys. How do you like my green screen? That's for Ziggy. And the blue is for Teresa, because this is why we are all here. Honestly, it yes, it is for freedom for the guys, but it's also for Teresa. Welcome, my first guest, Mystic Jinx. Hi, Jinxie, how you doing? Hello, I'm good. How are you? Good. Well, nervous a little, you know. Well, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> we'll work together. We'll work through it. We'll work through it. <laughs> <clears throat> I like to say that you guys take, <laughs> excuse me, kind of got a little cold, but I don't got the C19, don't worry about it, I'm cool. Anyway, um, take this time during the lockdown, you guys, to write to Steve and Brendan, you know, give them a little hello, how you doing, brighten up their days, you know, because I mean, they're locked down all the time, you know, not just, you know, like us waiting to be released. He, they are too, but they've been it there for years. So I'm sure they would absolutely love to uh, hear something from you, a hello, we're here for you, we believe in you, anything. Some encouraging words would be really good for them right now, I think. So you can do that. My mods will also be posting where you can donate and um, hopefully their addresses. And um, the rest of the links should be in the description. I'm not sure if they're all working because according to sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Anyway, let's say hi to some people. Sean, Marjorie, Rachel, Bean Green. God loves me. Mm, sharper than a pencil. David Moore, Dark Side of the Moon, Ripper Jack, Kim Vest. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm sure there's probably more I'm missing. Hi, Travis, Annie. Um. Anyway. So, Jinxie, what do you got for us today? <laughs> oh, I just got nerves right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, you want me to keep on little, 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 little? I could do that, too, you know. I'm Hi, everybody. You don't see me, but I am waving. <laughs> She's waving. She's pointing, I, too. See her? <laughs> well, my picture is pointing at uh, the person I think that is suspect. <laughs> oh, I just don't know who that could be. Well. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> Most people know that I am, you know, on the ex-boyfriend <laughs> train. Oh, I'm with you on that. If it wasn't happenstance, then I think he did it. Yeah. You know, he's just got day planner and, uh, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff that just don't, you know, why do you in, insert yourself? Why are you on the property? And then saying you were never on the property. Why'd you hand somebody a map? Ha, I guess yeah. that's a giveaway. <laughs> Well, he was handing maps to everybody, was it? I mean, you <coughs> see Lodorn doing that. We're, well, we're talking the POG special map. Oh, yeah. Well, that, that was the godly map. <laughs> <laughs> the godly map. <laughs> the one that had the big old G right on it. <laughs> I think they got it backwards. It's cop. Not gap. <laughs> gap up, you know. <laughs> Sorry, some gap in my throat. <laughs> I don't like her. I don't like yeah, her. But well. One friend can do her really good. I'll tell you that right now. She would just like her, and I was like, Is "That you?" <laughs> you know, it's crazy. Oh, hi, Becky and Jackie and four one one now. T one Gloria. Uh, I think. Oh. Nanu. Oh, I like that. Colette, Debbie, Nanu, Don, Nanu. <laughs> Cat, Cat Game Girl. Okay, there. Not going to pay attention to them right now. <laughs> I want to pay attention to you. Oh, I can announce um, in about an hour, we're going to have JJX61 coming up. And oh, hello to his son. Um, I can't remember his name. Starts with a G. Anyway, I'm sure. I'm really bad at names. I slaughter him all the time. So sorry. Please don't be offended. Hi, BB. Hi, Jag. Um, Hi, G. Yeah. I just, you know, I'm bad at names. But anyway, welcome. Welcome to people that are new here to my channel. And if you like what you see, hit the little subscribe button and the bell. Make a ding, ding. Tell you what time it is. And um, I guess that's about it. We might have a couple hit, more hit surprises. Hit the thumbs up, too. 
Like thumbs up, thumbs down, don't matter to me. You know, all is algorithms. <laughs> Still in reaction. So if you hate it, you can thumbs down it. I don't care. But those that thumb up, they get a special surprise. It'll turn blue and say thank you. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Jinx, what have you been doing? What's going on with you? I know you're into the tiger king you know which is how who can't really be into it i guess you know what i mean well so honestly I'm, honestly i watched like 30 minutes of it and said well i can't <laughs> um it took me about a week and usually i can binge watch anything that comes on you know innocent files came on yep. binge watched it two the first day second day you know what i mean that kind of right. stuff this really i was like um is this a low budget housewives show or something <laughs> I thought it was reality TV. I mean, you know, like they <laughs> well, kind of was. It, that's well, kind of what his channel was, wasn't it? It was kind of like his reality TV show on YouTube, and <laughs> yeah, ex meth addicts and prisoners. I don't know what name that would be, <laughs> but anyway, it was good, and there is some corruption and shit going on in that. So. I just I got interested in the missing persons case yeah. because before I did. Avery, before I even heard about wrongful convictions, I looked into missing persons and, and uh, cold cases on web sleuths. Yeah. So that's why making a murderer got recommended to me was from a friend who knew I was into all of this kind of stuff. So Same like, thing you gotta for me watch too. it. <laughs> Same thing for me too. They're like, you're always watching that stuff. Watch this one. <laughs> and that was, like, okay. um, that was like what, more than four years ago now. <laughs> so yeah so, you've been in it for a while girlfriend <laughs> yeah i remember the day while. i watched it <laughs> Mark, uh, it was december yeah. 23rd 2015 but see, and by and the next day after, <laughs> the truth yeah so yes that's what we're after that's what gets us isn't it it's the it's putting them all them pieces together don't you think i mean just and yet there's so many missing still you know, I don't think any of them dots connect very well at all. I'm I'm really sorry to say that I just don't. You know, it's hard. It's hard to this case does nothing surprises me, you know? What I mean? Nothing. Nothing well, right. in this case surprises me. It just but anyway, so you got involved because a friend recommended and then changed your life completely. Did you thank them for that? Oh, I tell them all the time that it's their fault. Mm. I'm so obsessed. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for making me a alcoholic. David, if you're <laughs> out there, you know who you are. <laughs> you but might be watching. For making, <laughs> thanks for making me a mamaholic. I appreciate it. Like I didn't have enough issues. Thank you. Because <laughs> that's, you know, that's what I tell them. And my family thinks I'm a kook. I mean, worse than what they thought before. Let's get real. You know, <laughs> I lost my marbles before, but now they really think i did so and then this doesn't help you know at my age <laughs> so, <laughs> what the hair yeah <laughs> the purple hair at 57 years old yes i do thank you very much <laughs> i love it i love it hey, stay young yeah, i'd have something bright in your life i guess i should have curled it but, i mean combed it but i just thought well anyway. i think it looks cute so <laughs> makes me feel young <laughs> You're lucky y'all can't see it. It doesn't my help pajamas. my frustration. <laughs> doesn't help my frustration with this case. Yeah. You know, yeah. even even so many new things that I mean, really a lot of new things. When you started, it was like, you know, digging for, you know, for Alaska to try to find things. When I got into it, it was a little a lot easier to get um, you know, transcripts and stuff to read. But now it's like FOIA galore, you know what I mean? And pictures and things that are people are thinking of and bringing out to, you know, it's like, wow. But you have always been into the people. Yes, I do. I do. Where are they? Yep. <laughs> where You're they connect. Ancestry.com in your own self. You probably invented the dang thing, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I've been using it for, you know, almost, what, 15 years or something like that. So Wow. Yeah, that's really good. So you know how to do that. So what do you got for us? <laughs> well, I was going to put together a little uh, thing. I was going to ask the audience about uh, Kathy Where Wilford. Kathy Wilford. You guys know her as the photographer that supposedly went to the Avery property prior to Teresa. 
and uh, she, she made uh, up the story. She comes into uh, you know she's she did a little cameo on that cam convicting a murderer that they were trying to get out. I don't know if that'll ever get out. I where oh, uh, it could have been me was what she <laughs> says in the cameo. Oh and, really? Yeah, I have links. I I don't know where I can post them. Um, that's a Twitter you can, link. You can um, post them in Facebook, and I can. I can post them in, right here in the chat, right? You're a yeah, you're a moderator, so you just do your thing. I gave you a wrench a long time ago. I think you were one of the first ones. <laughs> Tell you the truth. <laughs> and now I don't know where I put that link. <laughs> you take your time, because look, what do I always say? Low budget Linda Productions, welcome to it. If you don't like it, well, then I guess you just don't like it because I'm human. I make mistakes. I'm not perfect. I might not even get a date right and names. I always screw up. So bear with me. I just try. You know what I mean? All I want to do is talk about what you guys are doing anyway. So if I screw up, you're right here usually to tell me, hey, Linda, that ain't right. <laughs> I, I, I try to... Uh... <laughs> I try to keep people on fact, like when I do see things that mm -hmm. are, are, um, you know, right. Incorrect. Like the sister and brother of, uh, everyone thinks Mike Halbach's uh, wife is, she's a Jost and they think that she's somehow related to Jason Jost, who is an officer for the Manitowoc Sheriff's office who found the bone. You know, he, he was the one who found the bone eight feet out in the pit. But he is actually, there is no relationship there. So, mm -hmm. like, I see that going around, and it, it kind of, you got to keep reminding people they're they're not related. They just have the same last name. They're from two different yep. counties. I don't even see an uncle or a brother or a cousin or anything like that in their immediate history. So if they are related, it's hundreds of years ago. <laughs> yeah, and, well... And, it's a small place. So let's just, you know, I mean, a lot of people don't understand a real small town that people have been there for like hundreds, generations. So it, they do have a, you know, them kind of small towns have that. So it's really interesting how they go together, you know. So I can see where your interest would be. I just don't have the patience for that. <laughs> I definitely don't. Well, here, I think I can share my thing here, right? I can share my You could share your screen. Yes, you can. As soon as you put it there, I'll click it on and we'll be sharing screens. All Look right. at that, Let how me... nice it is. This is so easy to use. I'm telling you, I love it. I love the I green screen thing. It's fun as heck. I feel like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> so let's be in Manitowoc while we do this, okay? <laughs> let's try this. <clears throat> share my screen. And then it's going to ask you where you want to go. Where is it coming from, you know? And it's not letting me come. Let's see here. Well, I'll put it out. It'll come on when I click on it. So as soon as you pick whatever it is. It's okay. Really, okay. As soon as you get it on, then I, I will click it on to the big screen. Oh, that's it lets right. me have censorship. Isn't that nice? That is That is a very actually a very nice thing yeah it's not letting me share my photo on this page though it's not bringing up the photo mm. so that's a little strange for me well it's a little strange for me too i don't understand maybe it's not maybe you have to do it through like a i don't know I, they give you three different things so i don't know i guess it depends on where it is on your because well, i don't want to call nobody out but somebody else was having that problem and they found out it wasn't in that one it wasn't in the chrome it was in another one <clears throat> well mine's just a picture on the actual uh okay on the Gosh, actual picture here. well can you give them a link so they might be able to look at it then here well, we can I, go yeah, there you go there you go guys we're going to be traveling all around man you know what i'm going to do <laughs> i'm going to do that you can do whatever you like sweetie i am going to send it to you in your facebook <laughs> Donation total. Oh, I got to tell you. Donation total is 5,531. Oh my gosh. Can you believe it? That is um, more than, well, and we did in full 48 hours. Am I correct on that, Pom Pom? How much is it? 5,531. Nice. Yes. 
Oh Way my go, guys. gosh. Thank you everybody so very much. Them guys are gonna love it. Oh, you guys are wonderful. Thank you so much. And if I'm wrong, somebody better quick gosh dang tell me so I'm not making a big deal over something ain't right. <laughs> So if I'm not going to be able to share any of these screenshots, that's going to kind of be a bummer, don't you think? Uh, okay, can you send them to me and then I, maybe? No, I can't. I, I don't know if I can send them or not. No, it won't See, if you me. can't share no screenshots, does it tell what? What does it tell you on that? I'll, let me do this. Well, now it won't even let me load it. Okay, it says share screen. Is it in entire screen? Okay, that's what we got now. Application screen or a Chrome tab? I guess it would be a application, wouldn't it? I mean, it's in your Windows, right? Is that where your pictures are normally? I gotta leave for a second and come back. Okay, honey, you do that. I can be here by myself, I guess. We can just play with the green screen. <laughs> I want to make sure that I was right. I am correct. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is so wonderful. I cannot believe it. Fantastic. Oh, whoop, whoop. Let's give you everybody a whoop, whoop. I want y'all to do it at home. Whoop, whoop. Made a lot of money for them guys. You guys are wonderful. They're going to love it. You know, especially in a time like this when they're all locked down. I mean, really locked down because I would imagine that they, you know, have to keep them kind of separate because it's a prison and they don't get no fresh air and I'll, I just feel so bad for them. So I think a letter would be really wonderful to you guys. If you can't donate, you can donate your words and say hello and kind words would be, they go a long way and make somebody smile, you know, make their day. You know, here she is. I'm yap yapping and not paying attention. Sorry, Jenks. That's okay. <laughs> Because that I was correct on that money. So that's cool. <laughs> that is a lot of money. That's great. I'm glad that everybody's donating to their canteens and, and you know, other funds that are. Um... One strand has a, a girl crush on you, Jinxie. <laughs> does. Why? <laughs> because you're a respected researcher and we love you. That's why. <laughs> well, I'm broken right now because I can't figure out what to do to share my work. <laughs> you know what? You know what? We can just do what we do. You know? I mean, if you can't share it, you can't give them a link and I can't share it. Well, you know what? It isn't our fault. It's StreamYard's problem. You know? I, think I, I might have something now. I'm going to try something because I had to redo this. It's saying you that I'm blocked. Care. You take your time. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. I got time to waste. Now it's know? not letting me share nothing. It's saying I'm blocked. I I'm blocking my screen. Click the screen icon in your address bar to allow and then load. Okay. Yeah, see the little button that comes down? Yeah, it says to allow. And I say share screen. <laughs> it says it's okay, but it's gotta, <laughs> but you must not be clicking onto what you're clicking on. I mean, it's not. Okay. I, don't know I thought if I if I left and came back, it would let me load because before it was giving me the option to put something up, and now it's not even giving me that option. I wonder why? Because I'm not sharing a screen. It did you did you stop sharing from before? Yeah, that's why I came back. I was oh. hoping that that would help. Well, you know what? I I really got no idea, but let me see something. Well, anyway, um, I'm gonna open a drive for you guys. Can just go through the shit I put in there. There you go. <laughs> We're low budget. It don't matter. You know what I mean? Thanks. Basically, I asked if Kathy even met Avery because all records show that, you know, Kathy Wilford is a DCI agent for one. She was mm -hmm. at one point. I don't know if she was in 2005, but right. she actually calls up. Uh, she doesn't even call the police to say, you know, hey, look, I looked I worked for Auto Trader and had been out for a picture at Avery's house. It was. More, she she called Auto Trader and told Auto Trader, "Look, I worked for you back in such and such, and I was out there, you know, visiting Avery in January of 2005." Well, she she says that she met Avery and that she's the one who says to the officers and in the Calumet County reports that. He would he creeped me out. Remember all that stuff about you know Teresa was supposedly all creeped out by yep. Avery. 
Well, yeah. I think that comes more from this Kathy person who tells officers that she had gone out there on January 25th. She's very specific between one and uh, 11 and one, you know, in the afternoon right. and that he, she, she took a picture of an old, an old cutlass and that she, um, she, she's, she got asked inside. There was a, a crazy dog barking. You know, you got to throw that dog, that vicious dog in there. Yeah, I know. Oh, and, and that she gave, <laughs> she met Teresa and gave Teresa a camera. Now the camera is a, a, a Nixon camera and not a Canon, which was supposedly what Teresa used was a Canon and not a Nixon. Not to mention, why would Teresa go out and meet Kathy to get this camera when Teresa had her, already been working for Auto Trader for months? Yeah. She took over Manitowoc at, after Kathy left to temporarily fill in for out there. Now, when all those jail calls were released for uh, for Stephen, um, he says something in one of these jail calls, and it's, um, I'll tell you what jail call it was. Let me see here. It, I think it was jail call six, 653 about, 40, 44 minutes in, they start talking about Auto Trader and how Auto Trader contacted Avery. That's how Auto Trader and him started doing business together, was similar to the zipper appointment. Avery had put a ad in the paper for the boat trailer, and Auto Trader called them and said, Look, we can, you know, put your ad in this magazine and on and so he did the appointment and then he started using auto trader now he doesn't say which appointment it was but when i go back and look at the he says he was using the paper first so mm -hmm. i went to look at newspapers which is another one of the things i like to do and uh and yeah, uh newspaper ads they're cool though <laughs> i've seen some of your stuff and i'm like wow cool <laughs> I like well, the pictures of the young guys, <laughs> even though they're uh, people. <laughs> he did put he did put um, he did put an ad in the paper in January, but it wasn't for a car. It was for it was for an engine for en an engine to a Monte Carlo and some bumpers for a Chevy. It wasn't a car. So why would Auto Trader call him to set up the lead appointment? You know. Mm -hmm. So then you see he put an ad also in the paper in June, which was for the boat trailer and an olds. <laughs> so there's that old she's talking about, in my opinion, because yeah. there was never an olds in January put in the paper for him. And some say that I, I think he says that she's been coming out there for a year during that call. But that call is about a year after she started coming out there. He was in jail oh, wow. for some of that part, you know, like, so what is his time frame? Is he talking about a year before she went missing or was it a year from when he's talking to his friend on this jailhouse call? So to me, and then you go and you look at all these reports for uh, everybody, which I linked. Uh, there's a notepad in there in my, mm -hmm. my folder I just shared that has the links okay. to everything. So you there can you see go, the people. links. Mods, grab that up so you can post it again, will you please? Oh, everything but that is. Somebody do, time. somebody do just the click and paste, click and paste. <laughs> well, I put Don't, I put the no link reason. in there. It's in the it's in the chat there. I put the link in there. Okay, good deal. But um, so during this phone call of his, I'll link the phone call just to have it here in the chat if you guys want to listen. Also, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's okay. So you were talking about when was the time frame? Oh, so the thing is, is they go and interview auto trader people and they tell, you know, auto trader tells them that his account started in June. So and that's the records that they have for him are from June of 2005. And, and then she mentions they may purge some, some uh, records after six to eight weeks. And to me, that sounds like, okay, you purge the record and they will get a new account number, but you can't purge the record completely from your, you know, system. Right. 
you should have another account number then for Avery if he was a customer earlier. <laughs> and there is, they never get any of that information. She never provides any information that she's. She's a shady broad. <laughs> so I'd like to know who put her up to saying that she went over by Avery's because in my bit of research, she's not, there's, there's no evidence that he ever had any appointments prior to June and meeting Teresa. Well, maybe it's one of your friends from the Manitowoc Sheriff's Office. <laughs> or, or let's let's go let's go here because I put a few other things in there with some of the family ties too in that folder. Okay. If you guys go and look. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, you know who else inserted herself into and this? Monitor. Sean Mahoney, Kathy Williford was a plant to monitor Steve. No, he wasn't. Least. I don't think so because she never was there. I don't think she ever met Avery. There's no proof That's of that. You're trying to say. Yeah, that also, you... also, she says she's only there one time and then she quit in April. So if she's there to monitor him, how is she monitoring him on one yeah. appointment in the middle of, of, of January in the cold? She's, yeah. she's there to be the witness because Teresa's no longer her own witness. She can't say Stephen Avery was a creepy guy when I was there. But you know who can? the prior person. So let's get her back and have her say, I went to Avery's and I I went to Avery's and he was creepy and there was this big vicious dog. And so she's, had she testified, she'd kind of be testifying as an auto trader employee like Teresa was. You know, mm -hmm. he, I went to his house, he asked me in the house, he's creepy, you know, and, and then you hear about all that, you know, she thought he was creepy too, supposedly, you know, Teresa, out of hearsay from her, uh, you know, co-workers and other employees at Auto Trader. But we don't have any proof of that. Mm -hmm. And we have no proof that Kathy actually worked for, uh, worked for Avery ever during her Auto Trader stint. I think she inserted herself because she like was Ryan. in her just like Deborah Strauss with the D DCI. Yeah. <laughs> and one thing you can, you can see, I linked, uh, <laughs> I linked, a, I linked an appeal case from 1996 with Kathy Wilford as, as named in it. And she was working for, with the, the drug unit. And when uh, the depositions came out with Deb Strauss, she also worked for the drug unit back in the nineties or early nineties. So did they know each other? Did they, they both insert themselves? Yeah. I mean, and yeah, I don't like that Deb Strauss either. You know what I mean? They're well, geez, geez. a little bit, <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> so you, since I can't share my screen, cause I totally screwed that up. Uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you can definitely go through my you folders. Didn't screw it up. I Dan did. I, I hit. Did. I'm going to write to him. You won't let my people share the screen. What's the matter with you? Yeah. I don't, know they don't let you share <laughs> photos because I have done that. So that's why I'm saying if you want to send them to me, I can try to send them because I don't get it because JJX has no problems. We did a trial thing and he could show documents. So, well, I put, I should have put them in the Google Drive first and then they probably would have been able to share them right away. But then I accidentally hit do not share because I wanted to cancel it out and then yeah. it wouldn't let me come back. So, well, it should be able to let you come back. I don't, I don't understand that. I don't know. But if you want to talk about Deb Strauss a little, we can, uh, go right we can, ahead. We can tell you that <laughs> she does a lot about her lately. How's that? She Lies does have, she does have a connection to Manitowoc. Her husband is, is from Manitowoc. And her husband is actually like, what did I say? It was the first cousin of uh, Michael Bushman. And we all know Michael Bushman is the retired detective from Manitowoc, you know, Sheriff's Department that came to the Cuss Road properties when they were searching those. And he was a dog. Uh, you know, he did handle, have a dog that he handled back in the 80s. So he was like one of the first dog handlers. So she has a connection to him by marriage. So I thought that was very interesting that she, and she inserts herself too on the fourth, you know, she called in and said, Hey, let me help you out. You know, I'm with the DCI. I don't oh, I remember that phone call. I was mad. I was like, Oh, he, she goes, Oh, I worked on something with him before. Is that the same one? 
yeah, yeah, that's that's yeah. Deb okay. Stroud. That's what I was pissed and I, really, I thought, boy, oh boy, lady, you really want to be in on it. I mean, like she had a gr a grudge or something. She sounded like, oh, anything you need. I've I've been worked, I've worked with them before. I've I've done this, and this, and this, and I could do anything you need. I'm like, bow down, lady. You really want to help, don't you? Yeah, she, she, so why did why are these DCI agents inserting themselves into the yeah. investigation? And it's not just a DCI agent acting as a DCI agent. Now it's a DCI agent acting as a witness. Right. Well, I mean, they all got, you know, a coat of many colors, I guess. They insert their own rules. And that's just what I don't understand. There's really no no um, limits or um you know things they don't cross no matter where they are if they're a low you know police officer who writes a ticket or if they're high up they just don't they let them jump around too much you know what i mean it, it, they let them do what they want and it's only certain players and i just it, this case just drives me nuts man. not not enough rules too many deviations <laughs> yeah oh deviations that's a good way to put that sucker i'll tell you that that's another one of my really god you know get me in the butt with you might as well just kick me because that one pisses me off you know not as bad as oheli but that deviation paper with um sherry it, that pisses me the hell off dude but that's I mean, the only time they actually filed the paperwork to deviate. But if you really think about it, they deviated yeah, they deviate from everything. Yes. <laughs> who gives? Who takes the barrels and then puts them back and then brings them back and finds things? Oh, okay. Well, who searches a small little trailer that a freaking you know what? A, a, a two year old could have found a key faster than they did, and um, they didn't even know what they were looking for. Okay. And then it was in front of the slippers when they took a picture. But no, it really was stuck behind the cabinet in a nice little tight area which is it colburn you know you did the shake rattle and roll with that thing you said you did you know what i mean so something uh, that bothers me about a pry open with one of them little pry bars and let it fall out or pretend it did or something you know what i mean there's just so much so much and the people that you hear constantly deb strauss you know i mean you hear about these people you hear about them for a reason you know what's the connection with them which daughter are you talking about, Diane? Said, just, the, wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Diane L Lil Missy asked me, hey, Jinxie, do you know anything about Zipper's daughter? Which I daughter? I didn't know they had daughters. Well, yeah, that's it's actually Jason Zipper is their daughter's son, and he has their last name. He's actually not a Zipper. His father's name is something else. Yeah, I've heard that before. So what what are we asking about them? I mean, I, I know of them. I know of them in a tree. I don't know really anything about their, you know, personal lives or histories or anything. What other family relationships would you like to know about? <laughs> yeah, we could talk. She, listen, Jinx has got the uh, okay it says joellen mentioned their daughter lived with them she uh that would i would think that would be I jason know. zipper's uh mom and i i'd have to check who that is give me one tiny they seem too shady to me i i the zippers have always stuck out in my head you know i mean i got three possibilities in my brain okay ryan and scott not todic blowman whatever his name is blow away <laughs> Yeah. yeah whatever and then i think the zippers because i believe that was her last place she went and i believe she went there uh, you know i mean the old lady's a little cuckoo but the old man didn't want to talk to nobody then there's a missing you know and now it's gone forever boy smile you know because your favorite person <laughs> you know you just i can't stand it i mean there's just and then i think it could be just happenstance, somebody, a serial killer passing through, somebody uh, uh, that she just met, you know, I don't know, accident or something, and they came across it and just said, well, you know what we can do? We can just save ourselves 36 million and our, all of our jobs. Right. You gotta understand might... that, you know, think about some of the other counties across the country, or cities that ended up get, becoming bankrupt and how it affected their economy and the people the way people live just in the 
just the citizens. I mean, they yeah. would be affected too in some sense. Well, look at so. Chicago, yeah. I mean, Chicago's a good, you know, example. That guy that got out, I mean, they were going to bankrupt Chicago, I heard, you know, or this part of it or whatever. Right. This guy back, you know, so they should watch what they're doing and they wouldn't end up costing. You know what? The cost of it is really like tripled, okay? Because first of right. all, you spend all that money going to convict them, okay? Then right. there's all them appeals you're fighting, okay? And time and years. And this is a, a payment throughout years. So the bills add and add and add and add. And it probably ends up costing them way more than if they just went and found the real person. You know, did a real right. investigation. If, if they had just spent the money to do it, to do it right, yeah, to do find it right. the truth. And have some integrity. For, for a conviction. You know, right. I mean, I don't yeah. believe every cop in the world starts out to be crooked or that even the cops in Manitowoc or in Calumet County even started being a police officer to be crooked. You know what I mean? I think it just stumbled upon them. Some of them probably didn't even know what was happening to them. They were just standing by their, you know, their coworker. I mean, I can't blame them all, but there's a few that I think just can, you cannot not look at. Do you know what I mean? You just cannot not look at these people and think you are corrupt. You have no cor co you know, moral compass whatsoever. Kratz, Ohelly, Meow Meow, what's his name? Um, Peterson. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, the list goes on, okay? And we're talking a lot. Are you talking about Len Kaczynski? Kat yeah, yeah, Kaczynski. That's a good one. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Ohelly, you know, I mean, them are people that are still doing things. That's yeah. that's what scares me, you know. They're still out there. Oh, Helly is still doing what he did. How can anybody hire him? I yeah, mean, I googled his name funny. once just to see what came up, and guess what came up? Brendan Dassey, <laughs> right under it. Brendan Dassey, first thing. I'm like, well, read that, you know. Unless you're a gosh dang guilter from the correct side of town, um, you're not going to hire that guy. I mean, he's an absolute freak. You know what I mean? He, he, he was so not for Brendan. Okay. So not, you cannot deny it. There's absolutely no way that either one of them and the judge who said, no, you can't have a new lawyer. When have you ever heard of that jinx? Yeah, I, I, I don't even know. <laughs> that guy I didn't even have a, he didn't even have like a, like his address came up to like a storage unit here in, in Illinois. So I thought that was kind of interesting when I looked him up. I was like, how can you hire somebody whose office is literally a storage unit? <laughs> really? Yeah. It was like. Well, the more I hear about him, the more, you know what? You he was on River Road. Detective. You dumpster diving wannabe detective. Ugh. Yeah. You know? Mm. I don't here, like it. We're getting some questions here. Okay. Well, let's, let's get at him. Let's, let's, let's answer the some chat, of them. You go at it. We'll go back. Because, Cindy yeah. Cindy McKean Elser asked me if Pam of God is related to Sheriff Pagel, and she heard that they were. Now, Sheriff Pagel is married. His wife, who is a late-in-life baby, uh, has a niece who's about her age, just a couple years younger than her, that is married to Teresa Hallbach's um, uncle, Uncle Gary. So... So there is that small connection that her, you know, it's basically her aunt is his niece. So there is that small connection there, um, which would make also Pam related in a sense to them too, because Pam is the first cousin to Teresa's father and her uncle Gary. So Pam of God does have that small connection through marriage. Through marriage, through her first cousin's marriage, who is related to the Pagel family, and 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 I'll mention that when Pagel got married to his wife, the aunt, Teresa's aunt, aunt, whatever, Sorry. she she uh she was standing up for the wedding, so they stood up for each other's weddings and stuff. So, to me, there's a you know not only is there a family connection, they were close, you know. The aunt and, and Mary Pagel, which would be the the wife's name. So there yeah. is that. Um, 
I hope that helps answer any of your question. Let's see what else we got uh, here. Got, oh, um, um, Diane said, it, I think it was somebody called Bonnie. I don't know what that means. Maybe. Yes, you, Bonnie. Bon, I was going to say that too, and I got sidetracked. Bonnie is uh, Zipper's, uh, Jason Zipper's mother and George Zipper's daughter. Her name is Bonnie. That's what I do have here. So that is Bonnie. Is there any um, is there any chance that uh, Deb Strauss and Kathy Williford are related to anyone at AT? Well, I, I that I'd have to look up. Still, I never really looked to see. That is a question, a, a good question. I I just don't have the answer for it right now. So I would have to look that up. <laughs> Let's talk about Tadic Tadic being the current last name of Wisconsin's county cop. Is it? Oh God, thread killer, you kill me. <laughs> There's a lot of tactics in uh, Wisconsin, really. You know? Kahushi. <laughs> yeah. And the nurse who took swabs from Stephen are related too, right? Neverly Darling wants to know. The swabs that were taken in, At the in 2005, I never seen any relationship between those two, no. Okay. I know there's a, a, I think what you're thinking of is, uh, I think one of the nurses that was actually there and observing was, she had a name of Vogel. And mm. there's Vogel, Dennis Vogel, who was one of the ones being sued. But there was no family relationship between her being a Vogel and the Vogels. Not like the one who sent the flowers to the judge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was the first wow, cousin. <laughs> that was a really a good move. Why don't you just call up the FBI and say you're building bombs or something, you know? I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Daisy, Daisy Lady. <clears throat> Excuse me. Daisy Lady says, um, Deb Strauss did the 1985 investigation into Manitowoc's wrongdoing for Pig Launchlogger in right. 2003. Right. Her and her partner said, yes, put PL dismissed it. Said yes, but okay. Yeah. But yeah, so they thought I, it was you know, they were at wrongdoing, but but Peg Lott and Schlauter said, uh, we can't do that. We're just gonna say yeah. no, they're fine. <laughs> yeah, well, I've recently heard that like Michael Grease him Greasy Up back, you know, um kind of held some things. Him and um Ro what's that guy's name? Ro Ro uh, the R guy. Um the Ro uh, huh? Are you talking about somebody from the, the case or somebody that is no, somebody from the um you know the AG's office? Oh hmm. it starts with an R. I'm drawing a blink. And he's got the glasses. <laughs> he was so nervous. Oh, I know what this paper looks like. I've seen it before. I'm familiar with it. That guy. Oh, I'm Riddle? familiar with that paper at the depositions. Oh, Roar? Yeah, there I can Roar. never see his name. Never. But that him and Greasy back held some stuff from pig and she never got to see certain things. And that's why she um, ruled that it wasn't no, you know, it wasn't. Yeah. Result. But, but is that true too? I mean, did they really withhold it from her or did she just, you know, no, disappear overlooked. it too? Because, yeah, you just know, went, <laughs> just went, you know, I mean, she's too busy figuring out she's going to use the state car or her car to go drinking in tonight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that was she did get arrested for drinking and driving first year the first year she yep. was yep i mean come on that's somebody you want to trust your children to huh <laughs> all your laws and but you know your safety and all that kind of stuff yeah I want to and, then, and then you find out that she has a connection to ryan hillgas's dad which just totally blew my mind yeah. <laughs> she was something else you know and i remember her when i was younger her and doyle and all them you know the older guys but I kind of like Doyle. I don't know. I don't know what he did to Wisconsin, but she was a, when I, let's put it this way. I don't put no trust into anybody that's going out drinking, using the state car and then trying to get away with it. Right. You know what I mean? Cause none of us could do that. You need to be accountable just like every other citizen in America. You know what I'm well, saying? You see, need what, my to thing with that is accountable. they need to be held to a higher standard than the rest of us and get more time for the same laws that an average person might break because they're there to make sure that the law is fair, that everybody gets right. a fair trial, that everybody, right. that truth is they're being found. justice, okay? That's what they're supposed to be doing, seeking yeah. the truth and justice. 
not making up lies and taking people's lives away from them because you know everybody says that Teresa is the only is the only victim. No, I'm sorry, she's not. There's the whole Avery family. There's the there's whole her family. family. There's the whole yeah. There's her the whole family's all victims family. too. You and know, they're all there's a community. You know, I mean, plus they have to live with these cops who are, are capable of doing this. And a lot of them don't ever want to believe that because their grandpa voted for Piggle's dad or whoever, you know what I'm saying? So you just can't believe, you know, I mean, and their way they write reports. Let's get real, people. I mean, that's your first job description. And you guys fail. You fail. You fail very highly. You fail. <laughs> I don't get it. You know, we'd be in trouble for that, Jinx, in the real world. You were, I, I, suggested, right. I suggested it to, to Dennis Jacobs before he passed away. He was on Facebook. And I suggested that he go back to school for some report writing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on. If your job was to answer the phone, okay, say you're supposed to answer the phone. You take down their name, their time they called, and their a brief message, correct? Well, they would have, you know, their nights and days messed up. They couldn't tell you what time it was. They couldn't even tell you what day it was. I mean, they're all on hangovers and they all have dementia. Something. <laughs> I just don't. You know? I just can't recall. Okay. Yeah. I'm How sorry. Many times I, just, said? I just can't recall. I think in their vows, it's like, and what do you say when you're asked a question? I cannot recall. <laughs> yes, Rhonda, that was me. <laughs> What, Rhonda? It was you, Jinx? I, yeah. I was the one talking to Ellie, Dennis Jacobs over there when he was still commenting. That's your favorite That's your favorite guy, ain't he? I mean, can we want to talk about <laughs> Pooh for a bit? <laughs> yeah, that was Remaker. That's Remaker. Oh, <laughs> that's Remaker okay. Pooh. I mean, I just know that it happens to be your <laughs> thing. I was going to change my name to yeah. Remaker's Piece of Pooh or Missing Pooh. <laughs> Remaker's or Missing Piece of Pooh. <laughs> Or meaningless poo. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there's meaningless pool. Poo. Ugh, whatever. He's disgusting. Poo. There. Are, I mean, you know, and I don't. I can't really tell what cop is worse from what cop when it comes to um, Jacobs and Dieterine and you know, um, what's that other one? There's another one. Well, Fassbender and them are right in there, but there's another cop that the alien guy don't bother me. He's just plain stupid. You know, I'm sorry. He's just dumb. He's a big, um, what do you call it? Uh, what's that guy? Uh, like, um, I don't know. He's a big wimpy or something. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> wimpy, uh, wimpy, wimpy. Yeah, I don't think there's. I don't think he's got any. You know, logical. Let's he, think about he, this. And do this. He don't have any gahunas. He just does what he what he's told. Well, obviously, I mean, he sits on a bed that's supposed to be evidence. <laughs> yeah. That that made no sense. That whole that whole scenario is just the, the search warrants and everything. Don't them get you too? You know, I mean, it's like I I don't know why. I guess maybe the aviators were just scared and they couldn't stand up and say anything because we really, like I always say, we do not know what they did to them. We do know that they tried to take their family apart this way so they could, you know, because if you separate you separate the family, then you know, you have a better chance on honing in on one person, which they did, you know. Well, so, they also wanted to separate the family because in the first case, they had, what, 36 witnesses at the property that said Avery was there and wasn't at the And peak. that did him no, no good. That did, this right here is what is what's doing him wrong. He's not getting any, any justice, okay? The no. rewritten laws, you know, he... DPA is that how I say it? Did I say it right? I don't know. <laughs> A -E -D -P -A. No, yeah. you know, the Clinton law, that's what I call it. The yeah. Clinton reform law for the terroristic bombers, you know. Um, that is just it took so much of this away, you know, and nobody really realizes it. You know, I've never myself, I can honestly say I've never read the whole, you know, reform bill or whatever that thing is, but I've read enough of it to know that it is just terrible for people who are it wrongfully convicted you know yeah. or really people <laughs> getting convicted it's time to amend that law or just get rid of it all together you know i've been so. saying lately i don't think there's any hope to reform any of the laws 
they've got them so screwed up. I think they have to completely rewrite them. I, I'm not sure, you know, who am I to say, you know, I'll be dead. Yeah. I, and somebody pointed this out, Rhonda, I love you. She just said A D E P A, right? Yeah, A D E P A. I love her, but she brought up something yesterday in a chat and it really kind of hit me. You know, if Brendan does this whole time, you know what I'm saying? I'll be dead. I won't see him be freed because at my age, I, I will be dead, you know, and that's sad for me, but I will fight till the day I die, <laughs> you know, but he's that, that Brendan's kind of scaring me a lot lately because I just, I really know his. I, I, I'm very uh, I'm, nervous I'm for him, him because I would love to see some new evidence brought into his case and them actually go after the state too. But what yeah. evidence where where do you find that evidence when pretty much the only evidence, evidence was his word you yep. know there we go guys I, I do not know if uh scott blodorn <clears throat> is related to pagel i do know that scott blodorn is related to an officer from i think it was milwaukee back in like the early 80s or late 70s who was wrongfully convicted and released so he's got a wrongful conviction of a cop and his family so i wish if he had any knowledge of anything that he would you know consider coming forward <laughs> since you know his family can relate to it in a sense so you would think that he would have a little bit of a heart maybe but i don't know scott bladorn if you're out there listening you know 100k kathy Lee. <laughs> <laughs> give it up Mystic Jinx, during your search in the family trees and relationships, which connection surprised you the very most and why? And that's from Malay. Yeah, Virginia. I saw that question and I, I really, I, I don't, I don't really know if any of them really surprised me at all. I, mm. I started looking at that because somebody said that Carmen Boutwell was related to Teresa by, you know, uh, microchondrial DNA, which would be like their mothers, 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 mothers are related somehow. But that I don't, I hear that, that, that relationship was like she's like the great grandniece of an uncle of a of the wife of a man who married this guy's wife at, that had a, an uncle that was her great 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 grandfather. You know, it's like there's right. like and it's, it's the father's side. Yeah, <laughs> it's and so it's the removed. father side. And you're yeah. looking for, you know, when you're looking for that MT DNA, DNA, that's the mother's mother's mother's. So you're looking for people who are directly connected to the moms on both sides, and it just didn't fit. So I, I do not think they are related in any way. It's all like marriage lines. Yeah, going and, deep. <laughs> yeah, and you know, like I said, it's such a small town, you know, and it's been people have been there for many, many generations. So it's not hard to see that you know, grandpa was a cop, so now you're a cop, and then you're a cop, or whatever, or you married this person who was a cop, or whatever. I mean, I get all that, but it's the dirtiness about it. It's the shadiness. It's the, um, it's the, I guess, the allowance of what they do. You know, it, it, no, nobody in the town says anything because they're so scared, but yet. I That's mean, another it, thing. They all have to start standing up out there as citizens. Yes, and and they, they the know. people, need to start saying, this ain't right. We want answers. We want to know, yeah. you know, what's going on. Why are we being sued as a county for, you know, your mistakes? Because mm -hmm. that's kind yeah. of what happens. Yeah, and if you, well, you know what? I mean, if you were to go... To somebody above them or whatever we don't feel is corrupt or whatever and make a complaint or something i mean you you pretty much are protected they're not if you die they're gonna go right for these people so i mean you know what i mean it's kind of like uh, you know they're gonna go after them so you might be safe i mean even doing it i don't think you know you can get it put into witness protection people seem to think that's really easy to do so i mean you know i don't know what is this a question the whole hotel situation what do did you think taking them there for one more night of fun would make up a life um what do i think of the fox hills thing victim, you know yeah we well, know when they went to the um to fox hills yeah i i have no idea why they would even bring them there avery was not even at the property anymore uh, he was up in Griffiths, wasn't he? 
he was already in jail when you know oh, Brendan was really? there. So, I mean, you think about it. He got arrested on the 9th of November, and and they didn't go after Brendan until you know he got his fancy lawyers and uh, you, you know and 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 they they yeah. needed they needed to get back in there. I think for a search warrant. So they can say, you know, look, we found this bullet, this magic bullet that we just, you know, appeared with yeah. some wood and <laughs> yeah, yeah. ta-da. Okay. Well, you're I think good he buddy was totally you. You got a question for you. What's nosy asking me? Debbie, I uh, can you read it? It's on the screen. I have recently wondered if we were to discover information at Brendan for several months of jail calls, like researchers did with Stephen. Yeah, so uh uh, has anybody bothered to actually, you know, FOIA those? Mm. I mean, you could. I mean, it, just like you did with Stevens, you could do that with his too. So if you are curious about anything in those. She must be talking about Florida. <laughs> I don't know. Thanks, Mystical. Okay, here you go. This is thanks, Mystical Jink, for... Yeah, they're surprising, but then you, after you see so many of them, it's like it's just like all of the mistakes that they're making, all the deviations that they're making. Right. It, it becomes less surprising every time you find one. So, what was found at Maribel Caves? Oh, what was found over there? A condom wrapper, a condom pair wrapper, of jeans, lube, and uh, I don't know what else. Some odd things. That's, yeah, that's some weird sure. things, wasn't? Yeah. The interesting thing about that is earlier in the year, they had just reopened up that place um, for like tours and stuff. Like I saw that in the paper and she liked to take pictures and stuff. So that always made me wonder if, you know, maybe would that be somewhere she would stop along the way? Like, you know, they said somebody saw she was possibly taking pictures of cows along the road. Would she possibly stop for pictures at Mirabelle? I mean, that that's uh, something I would have wondered. They Ooh. never looked they never looked into anything over there, you know, just pick it up and collect it and put it into a baggie and. Oh, uh, <laughs> I got it wrong right there. Rip jeans. Yeah, rip jeans. The rip jeans, jewelry. Mm. OK, does this say AC who took all that stuff? Yeah. That's a good question, uh, Daisy Lady. Who did take all of it? If it was AC, where did it go? Has anybody looked to see if they were in the ledgers? Because I, I know that there's lots of ledgers out from the, not only from Calumet County, but the what the lab also received and sent back. So, I, I guess that would be the best place to go look and see where those might be. Like, I, if they were even logged, because it would be interesting to know that if they were even logged and put into evidence. Why did they go over there in the first place? I think, wasn't it just a search party looking for her? Because she liked that place, didn't she? Didn't she say she liked that place, Maribel Caves? Well, that's what I think. It might have been. I don't know if anybody said she liked it, but at the same time, it's an interesting place that somebody who's a photographer might look, go, stop, you know, at, you know, drive yeah. by. Look at this neat, you know, I mean, that place is actually, there was a building there that's no longer there. It like blew over a few years ago. So well, all that's left is a cave. There. What's that? There's just a little bit of a building there or am I thinking of something different? I'm not sure how much is left, but I, I know there was a decrepit building there yeah, and it was supposed to be haunted or something. Yeah, that's and, what I'm thinking about, you know, I mean, when we were out there last year, we drove by it, you know, and it's like, got like stairways and like half of it's gone you know and it's made out of big stone right i think that's it not quite sure anyway if if bullet skull proven to be fabricated does that not set brendan free um no because they didn't use the bullet and they didn't use the bones they didn't do anything he was just a participant wasn't he I do remember reading I something about bones in his, and in his trial. I want to yeah. know why, even if the bones were not used at his trial, let's say they were not used, this is still evidence that is physical evidence that was collected during an investigation that also convicted him. So wouldn't them giving back those bones and not telling anybody also be a violation, even if those bones weren't technically used at his trial? 
I to me, see that that would that to I me says didn't that didn't that um unbun uh judge say did anything he say give them evidence and remember they said yes they will tell you that they found a bullet in the garage on the so and so shirt remember but how are they going to become with new evidence if they're giving evidence away? Like now they might have been able to get new evidence had them been able to test those bones in the quarry and actually prove that they were Teresa Halbox. That would also <laughs> change his confession, right? Like the only thing that ever <laughs> put him out there. So wouldn't that also be new evidence for him? I, I don't understand that That's part. That I part say. totally confuses me. If he, if he gave testimony that gave them the bullet, that means that he should be able to use that because they used it in his trial, right? That's what I thought. Well, they do mention about the bones being found. I mean, that is yeah. part of his and he's trial. It, and none of, none of, the, none of the physical evidence actually said, hey, look, this is Brendan. You know, there was no right. DNA. Right. There was no, not in the trailer, not in the house, not in. Yeah. Well, I think his lawyers should have said, well, you're not going to see any of this, uh, have any of Brendan's things on it. But the state is saying that he, raped her cut her up burned her so right his bones are supposed to be something he had something to do with the his defense lawyer should have put evidence with him so it would be easier for him they knew that his words alone were going to keep him where he's at you know what i mean you got to under understand too that those lawyers all of his lawyers were all lawyers that were appointed to him by the, you know, the yep. state of Wisconsin. So well, if you well, look at Glenn time. Kaczynski and think about him and, you know, the despicable person that he did to him, all those despicable things. And yes, they gave him two new invest or two new lawyers, but they're uh, also just state employees, in my opinion. So yeah, they did yeah. the, they did what they could with, you know, they didn't have you know, money to go out either and get specialists and things like that to testify on their behalf. You right. know, Ripper wants to know who uh, wants me to ask you, Jinxie, who was it that got rolled down the hill at the Avery Sandwich Yard? <laughs> I forgot, you know, until I seen that and I read it twice and I was like, oh, I'm just going to leave it up. It's funny. That was you. <laughs> that was you. That was you. <laughs> <laughs> it was Ripper. He was there in, in spirit. <laughs> yeah, he was there in spirit. Right. That is, I like that answer. You're better than Manitowoc Police. <laughs> he, uh, he, he alien beamed in and rolled me down the hill and then left. See, it's all his fault. <laughs> that was used or said to be, oh, we got somebody in the window down here. Are okay, you guys. are you gonna take on Jay Jax ever too? Because I know I'm kind of eating up now. There we go. Hey, Jay Jax. Hello, hello. Everybody, Hi. welcome, Jay Jax. Everybody He's on time. Me? I'm late. He's probably been back there going, "Come on, Linda." No, I've just been listening. How you doing, hon? Good. That's good. I gotta turn my TV off. I just realized love, it's not. love listening to Jinxie. I don't. <laughs> I, I, do. I will not listen to this later because I cannot yeah. listen to myself. I don't like listening to myself either, but I like listening to you guys. Yeah. So yeah, that's a plus plus. So everybody, welcome Jay Jax. If you don't know him, he's a great redditor, good researcher, been in this game for a very long time. That don't make you feel old though, does it, Jay Jax? I, I just learned from the best. <laughs> Jinx is one of them. Yeah, that's thank right. you, thank you. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, yeah, okay. Well, Jax, <laughs> we can go right in on to you. you and know, I will and say you. goodbye to everybody. I will Are get into my me? personal therapy, uh, personal theory, some other day. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you, I'll give Jax the floor now, and and I'll take my break, and I'll be watching. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks for having me, Linda. Thank you so much, everybody. Say bye to Jinx. Bye, guys. Thank you so much.